Hey, I, I heard you crazy fools really did it. You bought tickets to support both fighters, didn't you? Well, I, did anything happen? Well, the next day we received a mysterious package, but we still haven't made any sense of the contents. So it is real. You didn't become cursed or anything like that, did you? Are, are you both still okay? Wait. Are you sure that it's still you controlling your bodies right now? Uh, Paimon's not sure. What do you think, Traveler? Is Paimon still Paimon? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, you two don't seem to have changed at all. But I wouldn't let your guard down just yet. Still, I didn't expect you would actually do it. You'd actually throw away coupons like that just to satisfy your curiosity? Even if we bought tickets like everybody else, it's not like we could hope to earn any coupons. When it comes to things like this, it's always the organizer who makes the real profits. Hey, just what are you trying to imply? The Pancration Ring is an honest business, and we really don't make much from selling tickets. We make so little that even the current tournaments can only be held thanks to funding from the producer of Fanta. Oh, so it's the company that manufactures Fanta sponsoring the event? Paimon thought all of this was thanks to the Duke's support. Let's just say it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. They reached out to us first, hoping to promote Fanta products in the Fortress of Meropede. Uh, anyway, you try and take extra good care of yourselves these next few days, you hear? What are these papers scattered all over the ground? Are they registration forms or something? Hmm, maybe not. Every page has the Fontico symbol on it. Maybe it's some flyers from the company. Uh, okay. But if someone catches us, they could accuse us of trying to steal the company's secrets, couldn't they? Oh, <laughs> you're right. Guess there's nothing to worry about then. Let Paimon have a look here. Without assistance from the Fontaine Research Institute, development of the new product has been slow, and some researchers on the project have voiced concerns. We have no choice but to let the new product undergo the first phase of promotional trials without a designated name or packaging. We will adjust the direction of future development according to feedback. We have decided to only conduct closed, small-scale trials for the time being. Sure doesn't seem like anything unusual. The company is just trying to develop some new products besides Fanta. But it sounds like things aren't going well at all. Uh, let's put these papers back where we found them and make it look like nobody went through them. Okay, good. Inactivity serves no purpose whatsoever.
<sighs> if there's no way to send it all out, then maybe I'll never get a chance to leave. Uh, who are you? We've never seen you before, and you don't look like a fellow convict. Uh, I I'm not! <sighs> of course I'm not. Please, don't mistake me for a criminal. I'm a good, law-abiding citizen. Then what are you doing here? You sure seem anxious about something. I'm a promoter for Fontico, and I'm usually responsible for promoting our drink products. I thought I could complete my task here quickly and return to headquarters, but I've been here way longer than I anticipated. Oh, a promoter from Fontico? So what kind of problem did you run into? Uh, I'm so upset. It's all because of that Duke. After discussing the company's promotional plans with him, he told me outright that my project was worthless. However, in light of our long history of successful collaboration, I still tried to patiently explain the details. However, to my surprise, he just cut me off while I was speaking. <clears throat> Let me take a moment and recall his exact words. I'm just gonna stop you there and say no. If anything, I'm saving you time. It seems you don't fully understand the value of credit coupons here, nor do you understand the value of your own products. The former is because you are from the overworld. That's understandable, and I don't blame you for that. But as for the latter, only someone monumentally stupid, so breathtakingly stupid that they were completely ignorant of the value of credit coupons, despite living in the underworld, would ever possibly consider buying your drink. Let's just forget it. <sighs> anyway, that's how he rejected my proposal and asked me to come up with another solution with the condition that it doesn't cause any trouble for him. Can you believe that guy? Uh, well, he is the head honcho here. Not much you can do about that. We met him too and could tell that he's the kind of guy that's hard to pin down. Fine, fine. I know, I should just let it go. I'm on his turf, after all. His house, his rules. without even thinking about it. Want to grab something to eat? All right. But remember that we bought this time with coupons, so let's make better use of it next time. Whoa! Isn't this the super lucky meal? Looks like hard work really does get rewarded. Paimon's gonna take her time and save her every bite! What would you like to do this afternoon? After working here so long, we're really starting to get put doing the same thing all Yeah, it's good to kick back and A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? Oh, Paimon still doesn't know what to make of it. Do you have any ideas, Traveler? Really? Huh. Then it looks like that part of the investigation led us nowhere. Well, maybe we'll have better luck tomorrow. Good night, Traveler. Okay, so we've investigated two of the hidden rules. <sighs> Paimon didn't think this prison would have so many weird things going on. We'd better pick up the pace with our investigation, otherwise we'll never get anywhere. Yeah, let's skip work for now and put our time to good use.
Isn't that Vidoc over there? Huh. Is it just Paimon or are there fewer people than usual here today? Always at your service. Ah. Seeing you at this time must mean you've already saved up a lot of credit coupons. Or at least enough to skip work. <laughs> Seems you're getting into the swing of things around here. Impressive. Very impressive. So, now can you tell us about the hidden rules you know? Hmm. If that's what you want to know, I guess you couldn't have come at a better time. It's a good time. Leonid and those other pesky broke urchins have all gone to work in the production zone. I wouldn't want them listening in without paying up. We get it! Just tell us already! So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Even if you manage to avoid the guards, you might find something even more terrible there. Something even more terrible? Like what? A group of cannibals. Cannibals? In the Fortress of Meripede? Every month, they meet a few times in the dead of night. Rumor has it they might be connected to the people that have disappeared here. But what's even scarier is that they have a special proclivity. Since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. Uh, Paima might already know what you mean by other forms. So that's what's going on here. Oh, Paimon's stomach doesn't feel so good. <laughs> you two look pretty skeptical. No matter. Learning the truth behind dark secrets isn't necessarily a good thing. I've got things to do, too. I suggest you just act like I never told you anything. Traveler, can we just trust him on this one? Oh, Hyman doesn't want her blood and flesh entombed here for all eternity? Oh, so that's how you see the situation. Huh. You know, Paimon does feel a little better about it now. <sighs> when will all the secrets end? Hmm. Vidoc isn't here, but the guys who went to work in the morning are back. Let's go ask them! <sighs> Just stay away from me. Always at <laughs> your service. <laughs> what? What are you saying? You shouldn't go around saying stuff like that. What are you talking about? Listen, you should keep your nose out of other people's business. Hmm, their attitude sure is suspicious. Like they're trying to avoid us. so obvious about acting weirdly, do you think they might just be trying to lure us in? Oh, this is all getting way too creepy for Paimon! So you mean we still need to investigate some more? Okay, if you say so!
Fielding? What do you want? Criminals like you ought to be working right now. Catch my drift. We just want to ask you a simple question. Have you ever discovered anything odd during your nighttime patrols? Why are you asking about something like that? Whatever happens at night isn't your concern. All you need to worry about is getting enough sleep. Uh... Well... Right! We've heard it happens a few times every month. Paimon has sensitive ears, so it makes it hard to sleep. Really? I see. Uh, but it's not like I'm on duty every night. And now that you mention it, I recall my colleagues talking about something like that before. They say that strange things tend to happen at night on pipe cleaning days. Lots of us don't willingly take those shifts. So, what happens at night on pipe cleaning days? They just conduct regular cleaning of the fortress's drainage facilities. There are three pipe cleaning days per month, and it just so happens that today is one of the scheduled days. You can try to confirm the sounds tonight if you want, and if they're real, then I can report the issue to my superiors for you. Oh, okay. Then we'll keep both ears out tonight. Now, if that's all, then I'll be leaving now. I advise you not to try anything funny, though. Even if I'm not on duty tonight, someone will still be watching you. Don't worry, we don't want any time added to our sentences. <laughs> oh, he left. So what do you think about the pipe cleaning days he mentioned? Right, both are a possibility. But Fielding did say Paimon knew you would say that. Alright, sounds like we'll be up all night tonight then. Paimon just hopes the guards don't catch us. Dozes off. Paimon's worried something might happen if you go alone. Huh? Traveler? Did you fall asleep already? Traveler, come on, wake up! Oh, it looks like you were just peacefully sleeping to Paimon. Well, what did you see this time? Really? So we're finally starting to figure out what actually happened! But, what about the cannibals? How do you explain them? Okay, well it's about time for us to get moving. Just be careful to avoid the patrolling guards.
This should be the place. I know you. You were the ones we saw. Huh. You've got guts showing up here. You know who we are, right? You'd better leave now. Ain't nobody coming here to save you. What'd you say? Yeah, so what if they were? If you push us, we can make those rumors a reality at any time. Hey, what's the point of all those rumors anyway? What exactly are you trying to do? I don't have to tell you anything. If you turn around, go back to the dormitories, and act like you never saw anything, then I'll pretend that you never showed up here. Yeah, scram. Nothing worth seeing here. Huh? What did you say? Isn't that exactly what Boss said when he left? Hey, do you know our boss? Whoa. We had no idea our boss was such a big deal. He always kept his identity a secret. So, did he have you come here to find us? Oh, so your child's crew here? Seems like he had no problem fitting in. We're the only ones who heard him say those words when he left that night. So, unless he somehow told you those exact same words after that... Hmm. All right. I guess that's proof enough for me. I believe you. Wow, those dreams of yours sure come in handy. We gave him the business for a while, and we always give him a hard time when he first came to the Fortress of Maripede. But here in the Fortress, the strong will always earn respect. He was working the longest hours and racking up wins in the Pancration Ring. He could always see how amazing he was, even when he was teaching us a lesson. So eventually, we all decided to follow him. But one day, he suddenly told us that he had to find a way to escape this place, no matter the cost. He said it was because he heard that call again. And as his crew, if the boss wants something, then it's our job to get it done. So, we got to work, and use the hidden rules that were here to make up and spread the rumor about the cannibal rule. We just wanted to give him a better chance of escaping on a night after the pipes had been cleaned. To your rumor, nobody would want to come anywhere near here, prisoner or guard. Wow, it sure is easy to exploit people's fear of the unknown. But has a child already escaped? Why are you all still coming here after pipe cleaning day? Because as far as we know, the pipe he went into isn't actually an exit. It should be a dead end. It leads to an abandoned factory area, and even if there were a way to escape from there into the sea, we're still way too deep. No one could ever reach the surface alive. But Boss still insisted on going in. It's like he was obsessed about it. So we told him that we'd pretend as if he never existed while he was gone. And that if he wanted to come back, he should wait for night time on a pipe cleaning day. That way, we could meet him here and help cover the whole thing up. So you come and wait here through the night a few times a month just because of that promise? Yeah, but it's been so long now. We already know in our hearts that he must have managed to escape somehow. Uh, is it also possible that something unfortunate happened to him? Nothing could ever defeat Boss or slow him down. That's one thing we know for sure. Okay, okay. Paimon was just brainstorming possibilities. All right. Keep quiet and follow us. The way up from here has been sealed off. It's impossible to get through. Boss left by going down from here. It, uh, wasn't full of water at the time. Later, we came back, hoping to have a look. That's when we found out it had been completely flooded. It's impossible to navigate unless you're an extremely skilled diver. 
Do you think Child got trapped by the water? Not likely. We all know that Boss was an incredible swimmer. Really? Then have him come investigate, pronto. Just be sure to tell us if you get any news about Boss. It's getting late. We should leave before the guards come this way. Yeah, we learned a lot about what happened to Child here. Let's get going! We finally learned some key information. Seems all of our investigative work has finally started to pay off. When you said you knew a diver, you were talking about Fremine, right? If we ask Linny, he'll definitely have Fremine help us. Ugh. Why is Child like this? What was he doing going into the pipes? Not making our jobs easier, that's for sure. Fortunately, though, it seems like it's only a matter of time now before we find out what really happened. Now that we can finally relax, Paimon's starting to feel super sleepy. <sighs> Let's try to get some rest while we still can. Nighty night, Traveler! Ugh, it's morning already? Huh? Wait, look over there! Isn't that... It's one of Linny's cards! Let Paimon see what's written on it! Maybe you haven't heard, but today is the monthly free day. Everyone has the day off today, which makes it the perfect time to do some investigating. It's been a while since we last talked. Have you been making any progress lately? Let's meet at our usual spot in the factory area before lunchtime. I have new information. Ooh, today's our lucky day. We have the day off. From the sound of it, Lenny's been making progress with his investigation. Wonder what he's discovered. Hmm. We still have some time before we meet up. Let's talk with the people here for a bit more before we go. Talking over there. Let's listen in on the conversation. If you ask me, those pompous parasites on the surface act like they're all a bunch of aristocrats. Do any of them give half a hoot about a bunch of dogs like us? Hey, speak for yourself, mate. I'm no dog. Oh, you think you're special or something? If you're here, then you're just a convict like the rest of us. I've heard that even if you're released after serving your sentence, going back to life on the surface ain't any better. Once a criminal, always a criminal. We're marked for life. Uh, I don't buy that. Hey, how cool would it be if the whole world was destroyed by a giant flood and everyone had to start over from nothing? What kind of filthy bilge water are you spewing? I have family up there. You best shut your sewer hole with talk like that. Listen, things ain't so great on the surface, but who says that you have to leave? I've heard that you can still stay here and work even after you've served your sentence. Not bad if you ask me. Who wants to live in the ruddy overworld anyway? <laughs> and what makes you think they'd want to hire someone like you? 
It's one of the great mysteries of the universe, how someone as useless as you is so confident. Whoa. Sounds like they're really unhappy about the overworld. Speaking of which, Paimon never heard anyone use the words overworld or underworld when we were living up there. Is it only something the inmates down here say? That's true. Let's dance. Grab yourself a welfare meal. There's a group of people over there. Let's go listen in. So I said, that's not a faucet. Hey, hey, who are you two? Why'd you come over all of a sudden? Oh, uh, sorry for eavesdropping. Sounds like you were talking about something private. Uh, what's the matter? <laughs> They're just looking to join in on our fun, that's all. Hey, don't pretend like it's okay for them to just interrupt us like that. <sighs> Fine. You're lucky we don't mind extroverts that much. <laughs> you hear that, Quisto? What nice! Your expressions tell me you're looking to hear some juicy info, am I right? <laughs> but before that, it just so happens that I know you two. Really? Are we that famous? You kidding? How often does anyone get a personal tour led by His Grace himself? Practically everyone was talking about it. Word has it that you also caused quite the kerfuffle. A little mistake, huh? I like the way you put it. You see, people with a good attitude can join our group anytime. Unlike some of the others here. You're... Group? I'm Cuisto, and this is Labaroon. People usually call us the Bombshell Bros, but don't worry. We're not playing with bombs or anything. It's just that our information is always so explosive, and we blow minds on the regular. So, you two really like to gossip? Whew, you sure know how to embellish. No, no. You don't get it. Knowing intelligence will make things better for you here. For example, knowing who's working with whom, who has the latest rumors, who's not getting along. Wouldn't you like to know all that? Whoa, all this info's worth something, you know? You should prove you're worthy of it. I don't mind him. Quisto's always this way. Just play nice and say something to massage his ego. The welfare meals. Talk about the welfare meals. Oh, right, right! That meal we had yesterday was super delicious. Paimon can still taste it whenever she closes her eyes. Is that so? <laughs> to tell you the truth, I've been helping out with making those welfare meals. I've been working as a kitchen assistant for about a month and a half now. Oh, so you're the one who made those delicious steaks. Amazing. You could be a professional chef. You are correct. I am a true professional. In fact, I even went to culinary school. But enough about that. Since you like my cooking, I guess that means we share similar tastes. Listen carefully. This little bombshell will help you learn what's really going on here in the fortress. Listen, kids. The power structure within the fortress is quite complicated. The overworlders couldn't care less about us down here. We're basically dogs to them. You've already met the one person here you should never cross, the Duke, Risley. He knows more than you think. And if he doesn't care about something, then he often doesn't bother dealing with it. 
Those who have the Duke's attention get all kinds of special perks. Even better treatment in the infirmary. I know who you mean. It's that Jurier character, right? I don't think there's anything useful about him at all. Why does he visit the infirmary practically every day? Is it normal for anyone to be going in and out of there so often? If you ask me, he's just faking it to get out of work. But did you know that Churia was a talented researcher from the Fontaine Research Institute before he came here? There's no denying that. I don't care if he was a researcher that could turn dirt into Mora. Once you're in the fortress of Meripede, you're just another inmate like everybody else. Speaking of which, the last time I saw him, he was passing by the corridor with Lorvine. I also heard they started arguing in the library and got into a fight, right? Guess that's just how terrible of a guy he is. You mean he hit a woman? Wow, I never imagined he was that bad. But that Lorvine's also quite the odd one, you know? She's always gabbing away, got into a fight with a man, and she also got sent to the infirmary. Come to think of it, I always see her going to the sick bay every couple of days, too. Hmm. Huh. Wait a second. You don't think. Do you think it... Could it be that... They're secretly meeting there to go on dates? Ah, but it's really hard to imagine. <laughs> After all, I do remember seeing Lorvine beat Jerrya to a pulp that one time. And we might be overthinking things. Hey, you over there? Yeah, you. Say, do you like playing card games? You know, like Genius Invocation TCG? You TCG players are like mint in the wild, literally sprouting up everywhere. Hey, come on now. What's wrong with finding fellow invocation aficionados? Ah, uh, all right, no pressure. But why would you be looking for people to play Genius Invocation in a place like this? Don't people usually come here to fight? <laughs> Whether you're throwing down cards or throwing punches, it's all a competition, isn't it? It's all the same in my eyes. There are lots of card players here in the fortress. When I saw you, I immediately thought, hey, even outsiders from other nature. sure. Great! Since you've been here longer than us, you need to flex your seniority a little bit, right? Maybe you could start by telling us newcomers some stories about this place. I thought you would have already heard everything by now. All right, then. Did you have anything specific in mind? Or do you want me to just pick a topic? Why don't you pick? We'll let you know if we've heard it already. All right. Have you heard any strange rumors since you've arrived? Then, did you know that there are some people who are always gossiping over in the corner? Yeah, so you've already met those two. <laughs> They're quite a pair. They always keep an eye out for the latest happenings and gossip about everything. I've never seen anyone with more time on their hands. I heard that they used to be a chef and a bartender before they were sent down here. You know how bartenders are, always chatting with customers. And chefs love to pass the time just hanging out when they're not cooking. Hmm, good to know. Do you have anything else to tell us? Hmm, let me think. Sounds like you want to hear something a little more tantalizing. Oh, did you know that the Duke was also a convict in the Fortress of Meripede before? Huh? Wait, are you serious? 
That's right. The Duke was an inmate just like you and me. Seems he was exiled here for committing some crime. Who knows how he ended up rising up to become the warden, though. To go from an ordinary inmate to becoming the manager of the whole place? I'm not gonna lie. I kind of respect that. A forbidden zone? Hmm. Sounds like something that someone just made up. I've never heard of that. Where did you hear about it? That's just a rumor we've been hearing, but no worries if you've never heard of it. Do you have anything else you can tell us? Anything else? Hmm, not that I can think of, but I'll be sure to tell you anything interesting I hear next time. You'll have to play a game of genius. Okay, we've talked to just about everyone, and it's about time for us to go meet Linny. According to the card he left us, we should go meet him in the production zone. just never seems to end. Hmm. Huh? That look in your eyes. You found something? Hey, this is no time to be modest. Just tell him we found a boatload of information. Oh, as expected of the legendary duo, you have my full and undivided attention. Huh. I'd have never guessed that myself. Uh, the rumors swirling about this place are unreliable after all, and Master Child probably went missing because he found a way out. He is a harbinger after all. I suppose he's much more resourceful than I initially gave him credit for. Unfortunately, this isn't enough for our final report to Father. We need to find out Master Child's exact whereabouts. Father told me that even though Master Child said he was just coming to Fontaine for a vacation, he actually had some personal reasons. His agenda might be linked to his disappearance. His escape route is already flooded, so we'll have to task someone with professional diving skills to chase after him. Well, when you put it that way, it's obvious that only Fremini would be up to the task. Bingo! Is he around? He's working today. Coming here as a group would have attracted too much attention. I'll talk to him about it later. No need to thank me. This was always a part of our mission, after all. Honestly, I'm far more impressed by you guys managing to collect all this information right under Risley's watchful eyes. <laughs> Collecting information has always been our strong point. Now, let me think. To find out more information, Fremenet will have to retrace Master Child's original route. 
And if he's to do that, he'll have to set out on the next pipe cleaning day at the earliest. That's six days from now. Hmm. And after that, he'll probably take another two or three days to return. You can even estimate how long it'll take for him to get back? We've been working together for a long time. We know each other's capabilities like the backs of our hands. Traveler, what say you to meeting here nine days from now? We'll be able to pick up Fremine while we're at it, too. Oh, and there's just one last thing we'd like your help with. Though we can just sit back and wait for Fremine's report on Master Child's whereabouts, we still need to make more progress on the investigation of the Forbidden Zone. Fremenet's no master of disguise. Lynette's still working on getting intel from the other areas, and I'll need to spend some time helping Fremenet prepare for his diving mission. So, you are the only ones we can count on. What do you want us to do? Will it be hard? Well, I won't call it easy, per se, but I think you'll be able to pull it off. Listen carefully. You'll need to find an excuse to get into the infirmary and investigate the room and environs. You've mentioned several sketchy-looking people always meeting at the infirmary earlier, so it probably has something to do with the secret we're hoping to uncover. You've already met the head nurse, so she'll be less suspicious of you. Investigate the internal structure of the infirmary and any active dealings within, and pass those on to me alongside anything else you're able to discover. But also, there's no need to take risks. Don't forget, safety always comes first. Oh, my apologies, I just started rambling out of habit. It was almost as if I was talking to my younger brother. But that's not a bad thing, right? All right, then we'll head out as soon as we finish our prep. Let's go our separate ways for now, then. Don't forget, we meet here again in nine days. Stay safe. Hey, stay here for now. Paimon will take a peek. Hmm. Hmm? There seem to be several people inside. Right. I feel like I... It's not impossible. It's a bit hard to understand them from here, so why don't we just try to talk to them in person? Let's go as soon as you're ready! Whoa, are you okay? Oh my, what's wrong, little one? There's no need to panic. Take a deep breath before you begin. The traveler started complaining of a stomach ache and then nausea and then collapsed onto the ground. Paimon doesn't know what to do. Freezing limbs, twitching fingers, and pale complexion. <gasps> Could it be poisoning? Let me take a look. Please, lie down over here. Don't worry, I'll get you to the bed safely. Here, hold on to my shoulder and walk slowly. <gasps> you can do it, Traveler! Don't apologize, you're sick after all. Now, please relax, I'm just going to do a preliminary checkup on you. Now. 
my checkup has confirmed that he's not in any mortal danger. <sighs> that's our worst fear out of the way. Eh? Oh, that's good. But... I'll continue my diagnosis of the patient now. Please, relax and take a deep breath. <sighs> Don't sense serious damage to your organs, either. Does it hurt when I press here? Oh, and here? Huh? But based on my initial checkup, there shouldn't be a problem here. Oh, how strange. Hmm. Oh, what about here? Does this hurt? Oh! Hmm, I understand. So that's what it is. I think you just ate something that disagreed with you, that's all. Nothing too serious. Hmm. Outside of a pretty bad stomach ache when it decides to act up. <sighs> so that's what it is. Thank goodness it's not anything more serious. Mm hmm <sighs> And there have been other inmates complaining about the food recently. I'll inform our head chef, Mr. Wolsey, of this problem as soon as possible. Congratulations! The health risk is incredibly low, so you should recover within a couple days. Why don't you take a rest here while I go get some medicine for you? Miss Lorvine, I'll have to trouble you to help me look after this new patient while I'm gone. Very well. <sighs> and she hopped away just like that. Hello, so how are you feeling now? His stomach aches really bad. He was stumbling about the whole way here, so Paimon's really worried. If Miss Sijuin says it's not a serious problem, then there's no need to worry. She's the best medic we've got down here. But... It also looks like she's the only medic you've got down here. Ah, uh, well, that's true. What do you mean, that's true? That's really misrepresenting the situation. Of course I can't speak for the whole fortress, but it's not like everyone imprisoned here is useless, you know? Though they may have committed crimes and gotten locked up here as a result, they still know a thing or two about medicine, and they help Miss Sishuin take care of the sick and injured. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But did you have to lecture me about it in front of another patient? Aren't you a patient, too? Where did all your energy come from? Uh... Ah, that's correct. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a bit ahead of myself. Are you two also sick? We've been sick a while. I come back every once in a while for checkups and to pick up the medicines Miss Sijuin prescribes for us. That's just the nature of chronic illnesses. As for her... <laughs> you could say she fancies herself as Miss Sijuin's capable helper because she learned a bit of medical knowledge ages ago. Please watch your mouth, Mr. Jurier. Don't forget that you are the primary reason I have frequent heart palpitations. Hey, don't start arguing now! Please, keep it civil at least! Someday, so there's no need to argue over silly things like this. <laughs> but <laughs> release. It's way too early for us to even think about that. And who the heck knows if we'd even be able to continue our previous lives? Please allow me to end this boring and useless conversation. Oh, and Mr. Jurier, I don't want to see your face here again anytime soon. And same to you, Miss Lorvine. 
Anyway, that was more than enough rest for me, so I'm going to get out of this excessively noisy place. See you later, everyone. He just slowly walked off? Like that? Hmph. <laughs> That's just what he's like. I'm sorry you had to see all of that. I'm Lorveen, and that's... Well, his name is Jurier, but I hope you'll never have cause to remember his name. You really can't stand him, huh? I mean, can you blame me? Who would like someone who's as arrogant and obsessed with weird research topics as he is? <clears throat> but there's no need to keep dwelling on him. I... I'll accompany you two for a while. Miss Seashween should be back soon, and I'm sure you'll feel better as soon as you've had some of her medicine. No, no. It's nothing. I'm back! Did you rest like you promised? Thank you for getting our medicine, Miss Seashween. Did you all cooperate with your bed rest? I trust that nobody got up to walk around. <laughs> Good. Here, this should be two days' worth of medicine for you. Take one pill now, and then continue your bed rest. Ah, uh, Miss Lorvine, I left in a bit of a hurry just now. Do you still remember if we discussed the color of the pill that you should be taking today? <sighs> I remember. You said it should be yellow. Yellow, huh? I understand. These are yours. Please, make sure to go to bed early after taking them tonight. You'll benefit from a good night's sleep. All right, then I'll also be on my way now. I hope you feel better soon, too. See ya! I'm going to fill out your medical record now. You're widely known as the Traveler, right? I just want to double-check a few details, if that's all right with you. Those two made quite the commotion just now, so why don't we let the Traveler rest? Paimon can answer the questions instead! Mm-hmm. So his primary symptoms are abdominal pain, with secondary symptoms of nausea. Uh, is there anything else? Hmm. That's it! All right, then. Is there anything we should know besides to take the meds? No, his base constitution is quite good, so I'm sure he'll recover quite quickly after taking the medicine. Please, make sure to stick to bland or less stimulating foods, and don't stay up too late at night. Got it! Paima will hold the Traveler to that for sure! Oh, you're going to take a nap already? Okay then, you get some rest. Lots of places together. He may look a bit under the weather now, but he's actually super strong. Oh, so you're the best of companions. Well, don't worry, he'll recover soon. Ah, oh, you're awake. How do you feel? You slept for a really long time, but we never left. go back without a worry in the world. Remember to take your meds regularly, and remember bland foods. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Miss 